Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm just gonna basically do a wee update on five of my snakes. That's three corn snakes and two royal pythons. I'm not gonna do my albino colored king snake at the moment because he's shed at the moment and I'm not gonna take him out. I'll show you him through the glass, but no, he's hiding at the moment. I just checked, so I'll just show you my royal pythons first. This is Dakota, and this is. Terry. Um, you can tell that you think Terry was the older one because he's a lot bigger as you can see but actually he's younger. He was born in the end of August and she was born in mid-August which is shocking me because usually the females grow a lot quicker and fatter than the males. He's shed it a few times. She's only shed once ever since I've gotten her. Royal pythons are supposed to shed every six weeks. She's only shed it about once, and that was about since October time, September time, between that time. But it looks like she's going to start shedding very soon, because her colour's starting to get a bit dull. So that's great news. But hopefully, oh, and Terry's on the move. He's on the go, go, go. Uh, basically, that's the Royal Pythons dudes. Um, Tomorrow... I'm going to be doing another video of these guys and I'm going to be feeding them. If you subscribe to me, uh, leave comments on the thing, rate this video, whatever, uh, and ask me to do a video, I will do it. No problem about royal pythons or corn snakes or if you have any questions about any of these. Um, and what people think is if, if scales rip off, like say from solitude, they do grow back. They'll turn into a scab because my corn snake, Sheila, she got cell tape all the way along down there and her scales are perfectly fine now. You don't notice it. They're completely fine. But, you know, most people say, oh no, don't grow back, it just turns into <coughs> a big scab. But that's not true. So I'm going to put these, by these guys back now. Um, I can't wait till he's grown older. Uh, hopefully, the male will turn into a monster male python. That will be pretty awesome. Like a six foot male royal python. That will be pretty sweet. I can't wait for it. Like, at the moment, I'm just like, ah, ah, whoa. He's active. He just got out of his cavern. Well, anyway, that's Bob. He's in the shedding process at the moment, so I'm not going to take him out. He's five foot six, and he's a vinyl collie king snake. Moving on to the corn snakes. Okay. Ooh. I'll just very quickly show you these guys. Look. Okay. This is Sheila. She is my sunglow corn snake. She's very pretty. Uh, she's my first corn snake I've ever had. And uh, she laid eggs, but sad to say they're all dead from that video. Some snake eggs, snakes, and a fish bait knife. If you watch that video, the eggs in it, they're all dead now. Um, it's a bit of a shame, but there's always next year. You know? But anyway, I'm gonna put her back. Um, there's Steve and uh, Liam. And well, they're both doing fine, they're both eating well. I'm going to be feeding all my snakes tomorrow. So I'll be doing a video tomorrow and you'll see all of them being fed. That'll be really awesome. Well, where'd she come from? Someone doing pretty speedy. Basically, dudes, that's it. Um, you know, as I said before, please subscribe to me. Uh, I'll leave you comments. Uh, ask me any questions, I'll answer them. Ask me to do any videos, I'll do them for you. No sweat. So, guys, keep in the YouTube as usual, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's about it. Uh, also, remember, I will be making a video today, actually, since it is 2.53 in the morning on 28th of March. So I'll be making a video today. And 
Well, guys, that's about it. So, take care.